All right, if you work in retail or e-commerce, then there's a good chance that you've heard people talking about DAM software. But what is DAM or digital asset management software? And most importantly, is it something that you need for your e-commerce business? I'm Manuela with Plitix, and today I'm going to take you through what DAM software is, what it can do for your digital assets, and help you figure out whether or not you can benefit from this type of software. Now, before we dig into digital asset management, first, we need to understand what it is that we're even trying to manage. When we say digital assets, we're referring to content in digital form that you use in your company. So we're talking digital documents, images, videos, audio files, and so on. There's a whole bunch of these in the world of e-commerce. In terms of digital documents, you've got PDFs of user guides and manuals, digital copies of product licenses, product catalogs, and more. Digital images would be photos of your products, like pack shots or hero images, of course, but also infographics, brand images, logos, and digital art to be used on your website and sales platforms. Videos can include tutorials, unboxings, reviews, UGC, marketing content, you name it. And then for audio files, you've got official podcasts, promotional music, and so on. When you're selling online, these assets are crucial since they're how you can provide your customers or potential customers with all the extra information that makes the difference between a gained or a lost sale. I mean, after all, it's one thing to read a bunch of stats about a product online, but it is nothing compared to actually seeing the product for yourself even if it's just in picture or video form. Having your branding appear everywhere you sell is pretty important too, because if you think about it, you want to make sure your customers are reminded of who they're dealing with at all times, so they're more likely to remember you in the future. Now, with all of these digital assets floating around, you might be starting to think that software to help you manage them is necessary. And you're probably right. Some signs that you could do with a DAM system include finding it hard to keep track of or locate all of your digital assets because they're scattered everywhere, with some being outdated or even inconsistent across your different channels as a result. Being generally unable to handle the storage and management of all your digital assets with your current system. Juggling multiple channels like social media or sales platforms and needing to send your digital assets to all of them on a regular basis or out to different partners and teams. Wanting to see all of your media assets in one place to check that everything's consistent. If any of these situations sound familiar to you, then it might be time to think about getting yourself DAM software, or possibly, depending on the scale of your business and your asset requirements, other software that has DAM capabilities included, which we're going to get into in another video, so make sure you check out our channel to find out more. So now that we've unpacked a few reasons why you might need this software, you're probably wondering, okay, but what does this software actually do? I can store my digital assets anywhere really, whether it's Google Drive, Dropbox, or just my own computer. So what's the big damn deal? Well, when it comes to your digital assets, it's the managing and organizing that usually gets people. And that's precisely where digital asset management software steps in. DAM software serves as a place to store your digital assets, but where it really excels is in how it streamlines the management and organization of your assets so much better than just an online drive in that regard. The features and functionalities that help you do that vary depending on what specific provider that you're using, but let's go through a few of the most common ones now. Number one, storage and organization. This is probably the most basic fundamental aspect of a damn system, given that before you can do anything else with your assets, you need a way to store them all in one place and then manage them there. DAM systems provide a centralized repository for your digital assets and ideally should support folder structures, tagging, and other metadata management tools to make it easy to categorize and locate them in the system. Which brings us to number two, search and retrieval. A slightly dramatic way to refer to advanced search capabilities, which let you filter through your assets based on a variety of factors, such as file type, keywords, tags, creation date, and more. It might not sound like a super groundbreaking feature, but trust me, when you need to find a particular photo and the only information you have is when it was uploaded, you'll be glad that you've got this. Number three, transformations. Some of the most important and definitely the most time-saving features that DAM software should have are asset transformation features like file conversions and image resizing. These features ensure that your digital assets meet specific requirements and are optimized for use across various platforms. Number four, access control. This is a great feature of DAM software since it lets you set up custom user roles to determine who can view, 
download or edit particular assets in your system. And it's particularly handy in the event that you need to give people from outside of your company access to your assets. So imagine that you want to collaborate with an external graphic design company, for example. This would be a super convenient way for everyone involved to have access to the latest version of whatever is being worked on, but without giving external people access to any other sensitive information or media that's not needed for the job at hand. Number five, version control or activity logs if you prefer. This is a fantastic safety feature, especially in the event that your access control hasn't been enough to stop someone from doing something that you don't want with your assets. It's basically a way to see who's done what and when, and then access or restore previous versions of your asset catalog for reference or in the event of a mishap. Number six, asset distribution. A good DAM system will provide tools to easily share your assets, whether that's through direct downloads, email links, or publishing to social media or other online platforms. Number seven, integrations. If you want to take your asset distribution to the next level, look for a DAM solution that can integrate directly with other software tools used by businesses, like content management systems, customer relationship management tools, or our personal favorite, product information management tools, or PIM for short. These integrations mean that you can automate a whole bunch more of your processes and combining these tools effectively can save you so much time and stress. Which, by the way, make sure to look out for a video on how PIM and DAM can work together. Trust me, combining these two will save you a lot of headaches. For now though, let's finish up with a quick recap of the benefits just related to DAM software itself. The first one we have to mention is improving efficiency in general across your organization. I mean, think about it. What's a more efficient way to operate? Keeping all of your digital assets scattered around a bunch of different data silos, never knowing which is the most up-to-date or accurate version, and constantly having to check a bunch of different locations for different assets, or having everything in one place where it's easy to access and work on. By improving searchability and providing tools for organizing and transforming assets, DAM software significantly reduces how much time you spend searching for specific files and getting them ready for distribution. On top of that, you have improved collaboration as DAM software allows multiple users to access, share, and work on digital assets from different locations and devices. One more key perk of using DAM systems, brand consistency. By housing all of your assets in one place and managing their use, you can ensure the quality of each one. And you can guarantee the consistent use of logos, images, and other brand assets across your organization and everywhere that you're sending information. So that's about it. Hopefully you now feel a little more familiar and confident with digital asset management software and you're ready to figure out whether this software is needed for your business. Be sure to check out our other videos and if you'd like to see how combining PIM and DAM tools can help you simplify and streamline your selling, click on the link in our description. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Being generally, generally, being generally, generally, being generally, okay, sorry.